Welcome to the tropical rainforest. Welcome to Cerro Manito Lodge. I'd like to take the opportunity to tell you a bit about some very essential indicators for the health of an environment in our tropical humid rainforest. I'm standing off in front of a huge, humongous buttress tree called sangrillo or blood tree. And it has developed several very wide buttresses which are used for its support. We are in an area which is approximately 250 to 300 years of age and one of the very important indicators in our rainforest is that we have huge trees. Selva Bananito Lodge and Selva Bananito Reserve have an extension of 850 hectares old growth primary natural forest located in the eastern outcropping of the Talamanca mountain range specifically the International Park La Mistad. We act as a buffer zone, a transition area to La Mistad International Reserve. Next to this blood tree, we have actually the tree where we have the anchoring for our canopy tour, which is also a very big tree, about 70 centimeters in diameter, maybe even a meter in diameter. However, it has no buttress. This is a Lecitis ampla or monkey spot tree, okay? And the reason for this being so is that the strength for its support, this tree acquires from a very thick and very strong bark, while the sangrillo is very thin bark, thus has to develop huge buttress systems in order to hold and withstand the weight of its own growing. Here we have a Deliocarpus dentatus, or water vine, which Vines are also a very important indicator for the health of a specific region of forest, the presence of them. In that, we can approximately uh, uh, make quantify the age of this specific forest. So if we go that this is about 20, 25 meters in diameter, we can say that it is about between 250 and 350 years of age, this specific part of the forest. Why? Because these vines grow about one to three millimeters in diameter a year. They require about 75 to 100 and something years to grow from the ground up towards a big tree and come back down. So these lianas and these vines act as a very important anchor system because these huge trees, the canopy trees, are exposed to tremendous weight from storms, from rain, from wind. And so the vines will help hold this whole thing in place. Once an old tree dies, vines are there also to help promote the regeneration of the forest in that it will have anchored and overgrown many other trees and so when a big tree collapses, a huge area in the rainforest is opened up in that way we allow future generations to grow. And if by future generations to grow, let me see, I, I found, uh, I think this is here. Two young mahogonies competing for each other, okay? And they're just waiting there to be, to, to, for the ability to be exposed to strong light and then grow again. While we hear in the distance that little noise, that's also a very important indicator. It's the presence of amphibians. Uh, amphibians are very, very fragile uh, beings which then by weather, uh, clim uh, climate change or weather difference, deforestation, loss of habitat will then disappear. So already we have huge trees, the presence of huge trees, lianas, amphibians. If we take a look around, and this is what we're going to do from our canopy observation platform, is the main presence or the incredible presence of palms, including heart of palm, including butter palm, walking palms. Uh, palms are a very important indicator. If you go into a forest and you don't find heart of palm, it means that this forest has been impacted. Why? Because first thing by, done by poachers, for example, is not only the poaching, but also the cutting of palmito, heart of palm, and with that we, we, we lose that very essential indicator. There's a fifth indicator which is actually the absence of a kind of bird, which is the Nicaraguan grackle, or the great grackle, which do not exist in this primate forest. They have a lot of uh, natural enemies, but it would be the, the first bird you encounter in the town of Bananito, where there's only banana plantation. So they have settled there and won't allow, except next to uh, uh, flycatchers, there would be any other bird left. 
and so we don't have we have it on the bird list they sometimes come around in open areas to see whether they can go into nests of a different bird but they they don't live here constantly and there's one last maybe just go over this way very important indicator is this palm, this Jurassic palm called Lesithi, uh, Samia Skineri. The Samia Skineri is, finds its origins during the time where the world was covered only by fern forests. Okay? And this we find quite extensively in our primary forest. Okay? A very important indicator. It's a Jurassic palm. It's also poisonous for us. Only one kind of butterfly can eat it. And uh, anyways, it feels like plastic if anybody wants to touch it. I think just if we develop the sense for little signs of, about the health of an environment, we can see that Selva Baranito Lodge and Selva Baranito Reserve is really of outstanding beauty, outstanding value in its biodiversity in addition of outstanding importance because we supply the drinking water to 70,000 inhabitants in the city of Limon, which drink the water that our forest protects. Follow me for the canopy tour. <laughs>